Safety off. Here we go. Ready? Three, two. Need to, to adjust it to get it back on, on level. If I'm doing a spot and stop, be ready to roll. All right, we got to roll. We got hogs already on camera, so we got to get the hell out of here and get going. Let's roll. Let's roll. Okay, definitely a group of hogs. Um, I'm not sure if they pushed right or pushed left. I lost them when we came over the hill. So we're gonna go back and check cameras. We've got a bait spot down here and a bait spot down here, so they could be on either one. We're gonna, we're gonna pull up a little bit and then I'll go down and check the bottom of that hill, but I'm gonna check the cameras first. The hogs are starting to get the grasses beat down around that feeder, but still sometimes when we're up here, you just gotta you know, keep a sharp eye because sometimes you'll see something move in the grass and it could be a hog 10 feet away from that feeder and you don't see it till it's already out there. It's a hog, ain't it? Uh, it walks like one. I think it's too small. I think it's a armadillo or a coon. Oh, okay. Yeah, it looks too small. Small and a half still. All right, we got pigs, we got pigs. All right, listen up, rancher. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna get, uh, we're gonna get out, we're gonna get our guns locked on tripods and we're gonna walk up part way. Oh, actually, you know, yeah, we're gonna walk up part way. Um, we got a fence that we can rest our guns on. Remember the countdown, three, two, and anticipate hey. when I'm gonna say one. So it's three, two, and fire. Okay. And then remember your safety. So your safety is going to be on the left side of the gun, and right now it's going to be horizontal. You flip that down so it's up and down for fire. Okay. We've got hogs. We're going to move on them right now. So we're just going to take our guns, and we're going to walk over there. And we got a fence, well, a piece of barbed wire fence we can set our gun on. It's chamber and ready to go, man. Ready to go. size fatty right underneath the feeder. Now we'll just slow it down. There's going to be a fence up here, um, probably about 40 yards. We're close and the fence is right up here. Right here's the fence. Just set your barrel of your gun real soft on the fence right over here. Just real nice and easy. Even find them. I don't even know where I'm looking. All right, you can't be fucking talking. If you're talking, you gotta do it in the headset. Go to your left. Go to your left if you hit the trees you went too far. What the fuck? I don't see them at all. Hey, hold tight. I'm gonna come to you. There. I see him. Okay. All right. Don't talk. Don't talk. Okay. Okay, Rancher. Get on a pig. Everybody on a pig. Everybody on a pig. Safety off. Here we go. Ready? Three, two. You got one down, Rancher. I can't shoot, it's just you, it's just you. 
Okay, safety's on. Safety on. <clears throat> All right, we got, uh, we got three hit. I hit this big one, but I don't know if it made it into the trees or not. I hit a good. I don't know if I hit anything. Yeah, you hit one right out here in front. It was like the second one from the right. That's what I was starting with. We'll get the we'll go back to the buggy and drive in. How do you get across the fence? We got a gate down there. Oh, okay. All right, we got three hit. I hit that big one, uh, really solid, but I don't know if it made it in the trees or not. That was exciting. I couldn't swing anymore. I couldn't fire, so I clicked my safety on and just watched you. Yeah, I took a couple shots at him on the run, but that's pretty tricky. I hit the I hit the big one, and I saw it go start heading into the trees. So I'm not sure if it made it across the fence. And then I heard the thump when I hit one of the little ones, but that might have been the one that you already had down because you definitely hit one. Oh, it's down there, okay. Yeah, you gotta go way, way down. Way down. There you go. I'll clip that one. So we're gonna drive down there and see if we can retrieve any. I know we got three hit. Yeah, I'm gonna... I'm gonna spin this around. I, I do have to change those camera batteries. Okay. But I'll spin this around so you can use that thing to scan a little bit. I'm gonna walk back to the fence line here and look. Yeah, this is all Army Corps engineer land here. So, I mean, if that pig was laying right here, I'd go in and get it, you know, but uh, I can't go in. You're not allowed to go in and hunt on the Army Corps land. I mean, you can go in there and hike and stuff, but you don't wanna be going in there with uh, guns at night. Yep, that big one made it into the into the thick stuff. All right, I'm gonna get some camera batteries and swap these out right quick. And then uh, we'll look a little bit in front. There were two that were hit out here. We had one down two weeks ago in here and uh, we had to walk all over the place to find it and it was 30 feet in front of us. Yeah, I knew these hogs were gonna come in here tonight. They've uh, been frequenting these spots and where we seen them on the tree line over there, I expect them to go to that other feeder, but they actually just bypassed that other feed spot and came right down here. And here's their trail. I mean, right here, they're they're coming right down through here and coming through the fence in a couple different spots. All right, this one's linking up now, so we'll be good. Okay. All right, I'm gonna do a real quick walk around up front where I saw that other pig go down and see if I can't find it. Rancher, I got the one you dropped. Told you they're harder than shit to find. We drove right past it. Hey, are you going? Yeah. I just radioed you and told you. All right, we just retrieved one of them. We had three pigs hit. Um, this is the one right here. So I hit a big one that made it through the fence and got into the Army Corps land and Grandpa hit two of them over here. We found one, we're gonna walk up and see if we can find the other one. Yeah, you can hold up there. I think those other, I think those two other buggers got away on us. Just gas that fucker. All right, let's, let's, let's push on. Driving this thing is super cool. Yeah, see if you. <laughs> it is. All right, let's but roll. Fun. We're gonna go. Uh, check a couple more spots. We're gonna take him on top of the hill and gut him. I got a couple of people, a couple of families that uh, want some pig meat. One guy is uh, wanting some pig meat for his uh, uh, niece's 15th birthday. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, get this pig cut up real quick. Just get him gutted and get the legs chopped off and we'll throw them in the cooler. Sometimes I can pull these and they just zipper right out of there. Other times it's a fight. Not doing too bad to me. So there's a couple different ways I can show you how to clean these hogs. We can, you know, like on these smaller ones, a lot of times guys don't want to put the whole hog on a smoker or on a fire pit. So we just gut them and cut the legs off and call them good. You know, they can skin them out and do whatever they want to do with them. Other ones, um, like especially if you shoot a bigger one, you know, then we'll uh, cut the back straps out and cut the front quarters off and the hams out of it and uh, never even gut it. Just leave the rib cage and guts all intact and just take the whole shoulders and everything out of it. Oh, okay. You take the parts you want to keep? Yeah, just take, you oh. know, the back straps are the most sought after meat. Right. So we can just, we can just do it that way on the next one. 
All right, guys, uh, we only went out for three and a half hours tonight. I uh, wanted to get uh, Gramps here on a couple of hogs, so we missed the first group. Uh, they showed up a little bit earlier than what they've been showing up on a regular basis, so uh, we uh, got out there about 15 minutes behind them, ended up losing that group. Did see a group walking through the trees, so I pulled down to where I thought they were going to go, kind of hanging in between the middle of uh, two feet, feet areas, and uh, we ended up pushing off to the last feeder, and uh, we sat there for about 20 minutes, and then all of a sudden these hogs started coming out illegal. I Grandpa saw them. And uh, we walked down and put a smack on them. And between the two of us, we killed three hogs. I got one and Grandpa got two. So it was a successful night. Um, we ended up uh, cutting up one of the pigs for one of the local families who wanted some hog meat. So that was good that we can donate some hog meat as well. And uh, hey, man, make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe. Tell your friends about us. Thank you.